Today on Extreme Foolishness TV, I'll be talking to you guys about the acquittal of Donald Trump in the Senate and Mitch McConnell's statement, trying to straddle the fence and play both sides of the equation. Yes, I will be. Let's go. This is Extreme Foolishness TV. This is why we're talking about extreme foolishness. Today I'll be giving my opinion about the acquittal of Donald Trump in the Senate and also Mitch McConnell's attempt to straddle the fence and play both sides of the equation. We know that Donald Trump got acquitted in the Senate. You know that uh, I think 57 Senate uh, votes in favor of acquitting, I mean, uh, convicting, guilty, and the rest uh, were not guilty. Seven Republican senators voted to uh, convict Donald Trump. See, a lot of those Republicans are cowards. I don't understand why they still feel like they have to appease Donald Trump. He's a loser. He's shown he's a loser. He lost the presidential election. He couldn't deliver to Senate seats in Georgia, but they are still pandering to Donald Trump. They didn't have the spine to convict Donald Trump. The seven Republicans that had the spine, I salute them because I know it wasn't easy. But the other Republicans, they didn't have the spine to do it. I mean, despite the overwhelming evidence showing that Trump incited these folks, the mob, even if he did not incite the mob, he knew that Congress was under attack and his own vice president was under attack and his life was in danger. But he did nothing. He went missing for hours. And for five days, he didn't talk to VP Pence then. And they knew all this. That shows that he had a guilty mind. Like he had a willful mind to make sure that the mob carried out, carried out their goal of hurting uh, congressmen and congresswomen, especially his vice president that was loyal to him. I mean, you guys saw the uh, Kevin McCarthy call. I mean, they didn't, I mean, the testimony about the Kevin McCarthy call to Donald Trump that uh, Kevin McCarthy was saying, hey, we need help. And Trump was saying, oh, it sounds like the mob is more upset than you. And Kevin McCarthy was like, who the F are you talking to? You heard that? No one is disputing that. Trump's lawyers conceded to it. But despite all this overwhelming evidence, they knew that Trump did exactly. He incited this mob and he knew that there was an attack going on. At least he saw it on TV. I knew it was going on. So how come the president of the United States would not know that the US Capitol was under attack? I'm sure he was watching on TV. He likes to watch TV. Despite this overwhelming evidence, they still chose to acquit Donald Trump. What really, really got me mad is Mitch McConnell. See, Mitch McConnell is not about that life. So for me, if you're gonna take a position, go all the way. That's all I'm asking for. Go all the way. Mitch McConnell had the audacity to go on the Senate floor after acquitting Donald Trump to say Trump is morally responsible, that his words incited the mob that they listen to him as their president and that Trump could be criminally responsible in all the forums and all that stuff. He had a scathing rebuke of Donald Trump on the Senate floor. But you voted to acquit him? Who are you trying to fool Mitch McConnell? You think people are that stupid? You're trying to straddle the fence and trying to clean the history books and make it look like, oh, Mitch McConnell was not in favor of supporting a president who incited a mob to attack a co-equal branch of government. You want to make it look like you are not in support of the action of the mob. You are not in support of Trump for inciting the mob. You wanted to make it look like that. You are not in support of it, which means you believed the evidence presented by the house managers, but you said you voted to acquit Trump because it was on a procedural defect that you cannot um, 
that you cannot impeach or convict a president who is no longer in office. But it was the same Mitch McConnell who did not allow the House Democrats uh, to bring articles of impeachment to the Senate. He blocked it. So he played, he knows how, he thinks he can play this game of, you know, hide and seek, let me play both sides. I would delay the Senate, I mean the House from bringing the articles of impeachment to the Senate. He said Trump's lawyers needed two weeks to, uh, needed two weeks to prepare for the trial. Then the articles came after Trump left office. Now he's hiding behind that, saying that you cannot convict an ex-president. What about the disqualification remedy in the Constitution? You can disqualify somebody, that's part of the remedy, which means you can convict a president, an ex-president, for conduct that was done while they, were, uh, while they were in office. And he would not address that. Is there now a January exception to the impeachment clause? In other words, can a president now say that I'm going to wait till January to commit an act of treason or an insurrection and I, I won't get impeached and the president won't get impeached just because it was in January? No. The purpose of impeachment is to punish. It's a civil remedy. He's not going to go to jail. So for Mitch McConnell not to have the spine to convict Donald Trump and more so after voting not guilty to acquit Donald Trump, he now wants to appease the history books. Mitch McConnell, you cannot do that. Your hand, the blood of Donald Trump, has stained your hand, Mitch McConnell, and every Republican senator who voted to acquit Donald Trump because they saw the evidence that the entire country saw. Unless you were blind, even a blind person could see that Donald Trump was guilty. But Mitch McConnell sometimes, I mean, apparently chicken out. And if you are going to support somebody, go all the way. Don't try to like make yourself look good now and say, oh, Donald Trump is morally responsible. Donald Trump is morally responsible. Donald Trump's work incited the mob. The mob believes the president, the words of the president are powerful. They may be criminal responsible, but we cannot convict a president who is no longer in office. That's baloney. That's preposterous, Mitch McConnell. You know that. Americans are not stupid. I mean, I can't speak for everybody else, but the people I know are not stupid. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Mitch McConnell was trying to straddle the fence, obviously? Do you think the Republicans were spineless? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this content, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like this video, thumbs up here, share this video. And, you know, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. People, drink your water, eat your veggies, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance, stay safe out there. Stay away from the drama. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.